Good morning and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on sword. In today's class, we shall be looking at conversion from the basic sword form to the single sword form. At the last class, I gave you examples on how to convert from the single sword form to the basic sword form. So in today's class, we shall be doing the opposite of what we did at the last class, which is to convert from the basic sword form to single sword form. And we said a sword can be said to be in its basic sword form if the rational number under the square root sign cannot be expressed as a product of two factors where one is a perfect square. For example, root 2 is said to be in its basic sword form because 2, which is a rational number, cannot be expressed as a product of two factors where one is in its basic sort form. Where one is said to be a perfect square, sorry. Why root 8 is said to be in its single sort form? Because 8 can be expressed as a product of two factors where one is a perfect square. For example, 2 times 4 will give you 8. 4 is a perfect square because the square root of 4 is 2, which is also a whole number. So 2, 8 can be expressed as 2 times 4. And can be reduced from each single sort form to its basic sort form. At the last class, I gave you examples on sorts in their single sort form and how to convert them from that single sort form to its basic sort form. And we did justice to most of them. For example, I was able to convert um, root 1 to 5 to 5 root 5. And we did so many of them. So in today's class, we shall be converting from the basic sort form to the single sort form, which is the opposite of what we did at the last class. So we have about 10 examples here where we are asked to express each of the following as a single sort. Now, in most problems which you may face while solving, in mathematics, be it in other subjects, and you happen to meet problems that have to do with sword. Most times, you may be able, you you may want to convert them from their basic sword form to their single sword form. So this exercise is very necessary for learners. So we are asked to express each of them in their single sword form: three root two, four root three, three root seven down to ten root two. So I shall be taking them one after the other in solving them. Before we continue, if you know you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly uh, click on the subscribe button as well as to on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. And also like as you watch and also share with your friends so that they can also benefit from this project. A says 3 root 2 that we should convert 3 root 2 from its basic sort form to its single sort form. But before I solve this, let me solve an example where we have to convert from its single sort form to its basic sort form so that you will understand that what we are actually doing is the reciprocal of what we did at the last class. So, if we are asked to simplify or express root 8, which is in its single sort form, to its basic sort form, we said root 8 can be written as root 2 times 4. Now, how did we get this? We said in order for you to simplify this from its single sort form to its basic sort form, you first of all look at the rational number under the square root sign. Can this number or digit be expressed as a product of two factors where 1 is a perfect square? Yes. 8 can be expressed as a product of two factors, which is 2 times 4, of which 1 is a perfect square. So 4 is a perfect square. And how did we define perfect square? We say the perfect square is a whole number, whose square root is also a whole number. So 4 is a, is a whole number. Square root of 4, which is 2, is also a whole number. So 4 is said to be a perfect square. Now, when you have expressed it in this form, you can now simplify further by obeying the rules of sort. Remember, at the previous class, you can go back to watch the rules of sort, where I said square root root 2 times 4 can be broken to be root 2 times root 4. And this can be simplified to be root 2 
is said to be a, uh, an irrational number, so it cannot be simplified further. So we have it to be root 2 times root 4 is said to be 2. So this can be simplified to give us 2 root 2. Now, this is what we did at the last class where we were told to convert from the single sort form to the basic sort form. So root 8 is said to be in each single sort form, while 2 root 2 is said to be the basic form of root 8. In today's class, we shall be converting from the basic sort form, which is this, back to root 8. So I just had to give you this example for those of you who were unable to follow us at the last class and could not go back to um, watch. In fact, I'm going to put the link up here so that you will get the link to the previous class. So this is what we are going to be doing in today's class. So we just need to have a recap of what was done at the last class. So we'll be given in their basic sort form and be expected to convert it back to the single sort form. And when I do that, you discover that it's just a reverse process of what have been done here. So let's go back to example one. A says three root two, that we should express three root two in its single sort form because it is in its basic sort form. So this, I can still rewrite this to be three times root two. And if this can be written as three times root two, I can also simplify 3 to be in sort form or to be under a square root. So I'll ask myself, root what will give me 3? Or if that is too big for you to comprehend, you can just square 3 and put it under a square root sign. That is, square of 3 is 9. So root 9 is what will give me 3. So this can also be written as root 9 times root 2. And if you remember in the first laws of sword, we have it that root a times root b can be given as root a times b. So this can be simplified to be root 9 times 2. Because they are like them, so we can multiply them this way. And this is said to be equal to root 18. Because 9 times 2 is 18. So, 3 root 2 is said to be the basic sort form of root 18. Example 2 says 4 root 3. So we are still going to do the same thing as what we have done in A by rewriting this to be equal to 4 times root 3. Now ask yourself, square root of what will give you 4? It's square root of 16. So root 16 is equal to 4. That simply means that this can be expressed as root 16 times root 3. This can then, you can then apply the laws of sorts in solving this to be root 16 times 3. And this is going to give us root 3 times, 16 times 3 is said to be 48. And this is our answer. Now, if you look at the last example I gave you before while introducing the class, you discover that we are able to simplify root 8 to 2 root 2. And if you follow it anticlockwisely, you discover that what I'm doing presently is a reverse process of what I did in the first example. Now, if you look at it from 2 root 2, I simplified it to be, I expanded it to be root 2 times 2 from there. It went into root 2 times root 4 and back to root 8. So in mathematics, most times when you hear simplify, simplification, we said it is the reverse or the opposite of expansion. So when you simplify um, an expanded work, it becomes smaller. And when you expand a simplified work, it becomes bigger. So in basic form and single sort form, they are just the opposite of each other when you simplify from a, a single sort form it gives you a basic sort form and when you expand it gives you back um, the single sort form so that is what we are doing so let's take another example i will, I will encourage you to follow up with what i'm doing 
try to predict the next step I'm going to take and gradually you discover that you will also get what I'm doing. So 3 root 7 can be expressed as 3 times 7 root 7 sorry we said and this can be simplified to be root what? I said you square this and put it under a square root sign that becomes root 9 times root 7 because root 9 is what is equivalent to 3 so this can be simplified to be root 9 times 7 by the laws of sorts and 9 times 3 is said to be what 63 so this becomes root 63 so i have been able to es uh, to express root 3 root 7 in each single sort form to be root 69. D says 2 root 7. 2 root 7 is equal to 2 times root 7. I will be a little bit faster this time. This is equal to root 4 times root 7. Please, on no account must you mistake root 2 to be equal to root 2. Most students are fond of doing that by just introducing the square root sign no but rather ask yourself square root of what is equivalent to 4 sorry is equivalent to 2 and that is said to be root 4 okay so this becomes root 4 times 7 and 4 times 7 is said to be what 28 and this is your answer e we have 2 root 6 2 root 6 can be simplified to be 2 times root 6. And 2 times root 6 can be simplified to be root 4. For root 4 is said to be 2 times root 6. And this becomes root 4 times 6, which is equal to root what? 24. For 4 times 6 is said to be 24. F, we have 5 root 6. 5 root 6, you can expand it to be 5 times root 6, which is equal to root what? Root 25. For root 25 is equal to 5. So this becomes root 25 times root 6. And this is equal to square root of 25 times 6. You can just run that by saying 25 times 6. 5 times 6 is what? Is 30. You write down 0. Carry 3. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So this gives us 150. So that is your answer. G says 3 root 11. And 3 root 11 can also be simplified to be 3 times root 11. This is equal to Square root of what will give us 3 is 9 times root 11. Obeying laws of um, sorts, this becomes root 9 times 11. And 9 times 11 is said to be 99. And this becomes root 99. So root 99 is said to be the single sort of 3 root 11. Don't forget to like our video as you watch. We are also encouraged to subscribe if you are yet to do that and share the link with your friends and family. H is 3 root 13. 3 root 13 is also equal to 3 times root 13. And root what is going to give us 3 is said to be root 9. So it becomes root 9 times root 13. And this can be further Simplify to be 9 times 13 and root 9 times 13 is equal to root 9 times 3 This is 13 times 9 9 times 3 is said to be 27. You write down 7 and carry 2 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So this becomes root 117 I we have 4 root 17. 4 root 17 can be simplified to be root 4, sorry, 4 times root 17. 
and this can be simplified to be root 16 times root 17 which can further be simplified to be 16 times 17 and what is 16 times 17 you can carry out the multiplication aside 7 times 6 is said to be 42 you write down 2 and carry 4 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11 1 times 6 is 6 and 1 times 1 is 1 so this becomes 272 so 17 times 16 is said to be 272 our last example is 10 root 6 10 root 6 can be simplified to be 10 times root 6 which can also be expressed as root 100 because root 100 is equivalent to 10 times root 6 this can be simplified for that to be root 100 times 6 which is equal to root 600 so if you simplify root 600 you are going to get 10 root 6 now you can also try this go back to the previous lesson on conversion from single sort form to basic sort form and use this process to convert it back to its single sort form and you discover that you will be getting all the answers of what we got at the last class so that brings us to the end of today's class in today's class i have been able to explain to you how to convert sorts from their basic sort form to the single sort form as promised at the last class so in order for you to prove that you actually got what I said, I have this for you to do. So just take your time and follow them step by step. Okay? You have to simplify the following. This exercise is a take-home assignment from the previous, previous class we did. Okay? So you have to do this in order for you to understand better. I have about, this is three, six, nine. I have about 10 of them for you to repeat. Okay? Try them and see. It will, it, it will give you a better understanding of what you have to do. Simplify the following from their single sort forms to the basic sort forms. And I have another example that will help you to simplify from the basic sort forms to the single sort forms. So just you can pause and copy out the questions. Okay. And then let me see your work. I'm going to give you the solutions to assignment one and two. In the next class before we introduce the next um, session that brings us to the end of today's class kindly like our videos if you are yet to do that as you watch please hit the subscription button and on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video or a new class is being held you're also advised to use the comment section to interact with me on issues you are having you can also suggest a new topic which you like us to prepare for you and Surely that will be done. Thank you for being patient to the end of today's class. See you in our next class. God bless.